Bonzo? Oh no, Bonzo! She'll be throwing herself down the stairs every morning at this rate. Just get on with your work, Mildred. The rest of the class was up at sunrise to collect some yarrow digged in the dawn for today's potion. Which is, Enid? Um, lick something or other. Oh, yes, Ethel. The elixir of life, Miss Hardbroom. Correct. We will be using a few drops of the dilute solution on some neglected houseplants. Starting with Ethel and Drusilla, we will attempt to discover how many drops are needed to revitalize a limp leaf. I can see you have given the ingredients a good thorough mixing, Drusilla. Be very careful. Where's Bonzo? Transferring the liquid. I'll give him to you after class. I hope you've been feeding him. Anything spilling on the table. Yes, that should be enough. Now try it. <laughs> Look at that. Just three drops. You can see now why this is such a potent remedy. Now, for Ruby's plant. Miss! Miss O'Cauldron's crap! What? Quickly, everybody out! What's happening? The tables, the chairs, they're coming to life! But how? Trees, Jardim! They were once trees! <laughs> oh. Well, Mildred Hubble! I accidentally dropped something in the cauldron. What kind of something? A cyber pup. A what? It's a little robot dog. You have to feed him bones when he barks by pressing his buttons. Otherwise he dies. Stops working. Mildred! I was trying to fix him. Yes, well, between the two of you, you have managed to wreck the potion laboratory. Where is it? I don't know, miss. I think it exploded. Bonzo! Come along, Ruby. Under the circumstances, it's just as well that Bonzo is no more. Mr. Blossom is chopping the trees up for firewood, and offending girls have been given the job of stacking them. The potion laboratory, however, is still in a very bad way. And much as I would like to, I cannot entirely blame Mildred Hubble. Those mini cauldrons have long since needed replacing. It was an accident waiting to happen. Sometimes I wonder why we don't just magic it all better. Really, Miss Butt? You know what the consequences would be as well as I do. The Foster's effect would ensure that the... <laughs> I've decided to invite our new chair of school governors to come and inspect the damage and hopefully write a check. That would be magic. When is he coming? He'll be here first thing tomorrow. 